spring is the windy season here and for the past 11 years I've been wanting to fly a kite but never got around to it. This time it happened because a good friend came to visit and she brought all the fixins to make some kites so here we are. Lemons! Lemons are here! Our friends from town gave us a lot of lemons. They harvested from their beautiful tree. So we have like two, well, one crate of lemons. And when we have a lot of lemons, we like to preserve them. And we got this great recipe uh, from Yoshi. She's here, she's the camera girl. And it's called uh, Preserving Lemons with Salt. And they look like this. Basically, we cut them in pieces, put them in the jar, put some salt in the bottom, and different kind of spices, bay leaves, cilantro, peppercorns, cinnamon, and clove. clove. So we put a layer of salt, well the salt is magical and it preserves them and by the end we put, uh, we pour some juice on it, put the lid and wait for three weeks. We'll come, we'll come back, just move them like this a little bit and yeah, hope, hopefully they taste very good. We can make a lot of dishes that I don't know right now what are gonna be, the, but we'll tell you about it later. <laughs> Anyway, lemons. Howdy. Um, kind of going cross-eyed here. I've been doing this for a long time with my friend Yashi over here, which I want to introduce to everybody. Say hi to yourself, Yashi. You're gonna be you're, you're gonna be seeing yourself in hi this myself. in a few minutes. Hi myself. Yeah. You wanna, hi, hi, future self. Future self. Do you want to tell yourself what we're doing? <laughs> well, we are preparing for making a cow tail rope. Yes. We are actually using the tails from cows. Uh, Stefan, do you want to explain why you have cow tails? No. Why people no. cut their cow tails? When that happens? So I think typically, and I'm, I'm pretty new to this, typically it's a horsehair rope, but I, I got a hold of a bunch of cow tail because two times a year, the cowboys do a cattle roundup and they get all the cows together from the hills and they have to vaccinate them and brand them and whatever. And to know which ones have gone through the process, they clip the tuft of the tail so they know which, which ones are done when they're running around the canal. So... Years ago, I asked a buddy of mine if he could, um, yeah, get the clippings into a bag. So that's why we, we're using cow tail. And yeah, the first part is to get the cow tail and just, I don't know, is this teasing? Maybe not. I don't know. We're just doing this like bramble of a hair mass. And then later, we're going to actually start spinning it and turning it into a rope, hopefully. So you'll see that in a little bit. <laughs> Which color is your favorite? Maybe. Show me your favorite one. The orange, just like your shirt.
I know how to do a little spinning of wool, so I think it's kind of similar where you're trying to pull the hair consistently, so you get kind of this an even, of course right here it isn't, um, and then Stevan, he's um, spinning the tool, okay, and what I'm doing is when it's the right thickness, I'm kind of letting go this for this front hand, and so it's spinning up to my fingers, so now, wait, stop, Stevan, so now I need to okay. add more, uh, cow's tail, I'm going to grab a bunch here, thing. I'm trying to work it in so that it's hopefully the similar thickness. So that's the hard part is to pull it consistently. So go ahead, Stevan. Come on, Stevan. A little bit. Okay. Focus, focus. Not, not, don't move it. So, okay. Uh huh. Nice, beautiful rope. Well, I can see a bunch of little details that we missed, but. Okay, that's the idea. That's the idea. So you need a lot of practice, but. Is it, is it 